What's up guys? 370 Gaming here and today I got a little bit you know of a different video for you. I got some quick thoughts and some first impressions about the uh, EA's UFC 2 video game. Uh, I gotta say overall I'm a very big fan of this game. I really really like uh, basically everything about it. I mean I'll go into detail about that like in a minute here but uh yeah, I wanted to uh, kind of relate it to things that I'm very familiar with, which would be like the WWE games, uh, specifically 2K15, 2K16. They kind of take that route of more serious, you know, realistic simulation uh, that UFC, in my opinion, really, really kind of innovated and kind of uh, <clears throat> made that the most efficient, in my opinion. I remember seeing a UFC game so many years ago. Uh, back when WWE games were still very arcadey, very button mashy, and uh, uh, the big thing I noticed in the UFC game was the submission system. I thought that was a huge innovation. That was like that was a crazy, crazy development. Um, but I thought the fighting style overall, you know, the actual gameplay uh, was just it was really. I mean, I don't want to overuse the word innovative, but it seemed like you know how crazy is that that you could make such a serious game play so well you know and, and look so well and you know here's the thing i'm not i'm not an mma fan you know i just i, I don't know don't don't ask me why i'm just not an mma fan uh but this game you know with the certain you know the character you know you get cm punk you got sakuraba from the extra pack you know uh plus you know the crazy you know like mike tyson and bruce lee and shit like i thought that was really cool but, uh, yeah, and so, um, you know, and the major thing I noticed, you know, even if I don't know, like, 90% of the people on the game, uh, the core concepts of the gameplay really stood out to me and really could click with me as a, as a, as a game player and, and not necessarily as, a, as an MMA fan or a wrestling fan or, or anything of the like. Uh, it was just very... I don't want to say accessible, because there's a learning curve, for sure. Um, after years uh, of growing up with WWE games that were just so arcadey, like I said before, uh, they were. it was very hard to adapt to this game, to this serious type of, of, of realism. And, um, you know, I noticed, uh, in like I said, in WWE 2K15, 2K16, where they try to bring it this route... Uh, they're not fully there yet, so you can still take advantage of a lot of things. You can just spam strikes, and you can just do this and that, you know. And it's on the right path. It's just not exactly up to UFC standard yet. So what I was still used to was not quite up to UFC standards, if you will. Um, I think everything in the UFC games are, are is, is done so well. I just couldn't believe it. I mean, everything from the stamina system, the submission system, the strikes the and the blocks... The grappling, I mean, I thought everything worked really well. Uh, you know, it's difficult, but it's fun. You know, everybody you know, everybody has a huge hard-on for all the games that are, like, super difficult. You die 5,000 times and you keep playing, you know what I mean? Personally, for me, that's not my kind of game. I'm not, you know, entertained by, oh, let's just keep dying and dying and dying because it's just so hard and it's so fucking difficult, you know? I want a game that either A, is entertaining and fun because it's easy and I can just get by it, I can breeze by it, take my time, or B, it's fun and entertaining because it's challenging and attainable. And I feel like UFC is definitely one of those challenging, attainable games where if you really apply yourself to uh, you know, things like the different fighting styles and the different controls and, and things like that. If you really apply yourself to it, you can learn and you can become a great player at this game. And I think it's it's such a fun, fresh video game start for me. I'm not used to finding games like this. I'm I'm much, you know, if I'm not playing a WWE game or, or a TEW like you see on my YouTube channel, I'm usually playing something like Peggle. Or, like, as adventurous as, like, maybe N++, you know, puzzly type of games where you just, like, you know, you collect coins or you, you know, do X amount of things in a time limit. It's not really super challenging. It's just kind of fun to just let your mind wander and just, you know, play passively. But, um, yeah, like I said, very, very few games I run into that are really, truly challenging, but also a really good game that I enjoy. You know, and UFC definitely fits that bill, and I was very pleasantly surprised when I picked it up. I got it for forty bucks on a Best Buy sale, uh, but also I, you know, I purchased the uh, the extra character pack, like I said. 
Um, but it was worth every penny. I was really, really impressed. And uh, I just, yeah, I, I have no more great things to say about the game. I definitely recommend you pick it up if you were thinking about it or on the fence otherwise. I love the inclusion of CM Punk, even though he hasn't fought one single fight in his life. I'm sure that was done specifically to get the player like me that was only interested in wrestling and didn't know much about UFC, you know, that's like, all right, let's put Punk in the game. They'll buy it. Sure enough, what I do, I bought the game. <laughs> but, um, you know, that just goes to show that uh, the developers and the publishers, they know what the people that play the game want. And uh, I can respect that, uh, especially in the days of, you know, rip-off bullshit DLC, which the character pack was obscenely expensive. I'm not going to justify that. But, um, you know, you make it a good game in the first place, it, it takes the sting off a little bit from rip-off DLC, you know? How many games have you played where, you know, they charged, you know, $50, $60 for some fucking season pass, and the game was decent at best, you know? It wasn't even a good game. UFC, if you bought it, and it was just right out of the box, whatever you got, you got your money's worth out of it. It was a good damn game. So if you're paying for extra characters or whatever, you know, it's not that bad of a uh, of a sting, you know, to your wallet or, you know, I'm cheap, you know, I don't know, maybe you guys don't care about that as much, but <laughs> but uh yeah, big fan of this game. Definitely recommend it. And um I'm going to start a career mode shortly as soon as I get uh, you know, I'm still adjusting to like pacing yourself and kind of blocking and and striking and things like that. Uh, I got the grappling system down pretty well. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do a career mode pretty soon, as soon as I get more used to it. But, uh, yeah, uh, leave me a comment if you've watched this far, who you would want to see me do career mode with. Everybody does CM Punk. I mean, I'm kind of, like, against that, but I would like to do CM Punk, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, tell me if you bought the game. If you haven't bought the game, what you think of the game. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later.